Welcome back to the channel guys. Today something a little bit different. What's in the bag? I've had a good few people message me to ask what do I use? What clubs have I got in the bag? Now for those of you that might have checked out my club fitting on the Precision Golf YouTube channel, you'd have a little bit more insight into what I'm using these days. I got fitted by the guys at Precision Golf and I've been working with um, James and Simon for best, or coming up for 10 years now. And I was uh, a player, uh, not a very good one back in the day, unfortunately, but uh, I feel like I'm a better player now for better understanding of what I need to do than I was when I was a youngster. So equipment has changed a lot for me from what I was using in terms of weight um, I'm very much of the view and opinion that these are lightweight kettlebells. I'm trying to make the golf club feel slightly heavier for me than slightly lighter. My view is the lighter you go, the more chance you have of appeasing or working with dysfunction, with whether you, how you move the club, how you fight the club. So the lighter it becomes, the easier it is for you to be efficient within the parameters of your golf swing. Just a thought, my take on it, um, and everyone's different, but that's, that's how I see it personally. Let's start down at the bottom of the bag. Uh, I'm using the SM9s by Titleist. Um, I've got a little uh, saying on the back, you only get to do it once. Uh, Liam Gallagher song, something, a uh, song that my dad liked in his final weeks and months uh, before he passed on. So I've just got that on the, on the back of the, the club, just as a reminder that this is not a trial run. Uh, we do only get one chance at it, and it's probably never more relevant than when we're playing golf. It's, uh, so SM9, I, I'm not someone that uh, is completely au fait with, with technology. Um, what the heads do, etc. But I've got a 54, I've got a 50, and I've got a 58 as well. And the bounce on my 58 is uh, 10.5, the bounce on my 50 is 8 degrees, and then the bounce on my uh, 54 is 10 degrees, sorry, not 10.5, 10 degrees. Uh, so the 58 is an S grind. The 50 is an F grind and the 54 is a S grind. And they're, they're the three wedges that I have in my bag. They're pretty cool. I really enjoy them. Something that has really changed for me when, I've used, when I use them is, is my chipping. Just the sole has really felt like I've got less grab in the turf. That's a really nice feeling, obviously, when you're around the edge of the green. Certainly, just coming back from uh, Dominican Republic and playing at the Casa de Campo Resort. If you've not been, three fantastic golf courses. Pete Dye designed arguably the most, or the, my favourite golf course in the world, Teeth of the Dog. Check that out if you've not seen it. Then we move up to the, to the irons themselves. Got T100s uh, by Titleist. A really, really nice looking head. And it's very much a, a blade looking head. Simple design. I've always been a big Titleist fan, but yet I've, I've never had a set of Titleist irons. I've always had Titleist wedges, but never had a set of Titleist irons. And um, I was using some Wilson irons that got given to me. And then before that, I was using some Lynx irons that got given to me. I've obviously, well, <laughs> I've obviously been someone that's uh, been more along the free, free equipment line than, than the purchase. This has all been purchased, so um, it was time to, to shape up with the equipment. The Titleist and the Wilson Irons did me proud, but I think these are in a slightly different uh, quality. So going all the way up to the, the four iron, four iron's my longest golf club. I don't have a a three iron or a two iron or a one iron. I have done in back in the day, but no longer that is the case. Then we move on to my hybrid. Now this is something that 
I've never had before. Well, actually, that's a lie. I had a, uh, an Adams hybrid, for those of you that remember Adams. Um, and this is a TSI-2. Again, tailor-made. I beg your pardon, tightless. I've got this at a 21 degree uh, loft and it's a neutral setting. Just incidentally, my uh, shafts uh, in my irons, they are 6.5s and uh, the rifle shaft, obviously been pured by the guys downstairs. Certainly heavier than I've ever played and the Project X rifle is a very taut shaft, something that felt really good to me, heavier, um, and just feels like I can really pull on the golf club from the top of the backswing, which is something that I've really tried to do, but the club head has been so light for me that it's really not allowed me to feel like I can load it in transition. Did a video on that, go check it out. I've got a Ventus 8S in the hybrid Fujikura. It's a really nice looking shaft, again, pured by the guys downstairs. I'm a standard grip. I'm a small men's left hand, so I don't do anything funky with my grips. These are just Golf Pride uh, Tour Velvets. I'm thinking about changing those. These have gone pretty dead pretty quickly, i.e. dusty. I mean, I, I do a few demos here and there, don't I, on, along the way, but they have gone a little past it already. Nothing a, a bit of soap and water can do, but there's certain golfers that come in here and it, looks, it always feels like their grips are brand new and, and mine are brand new and they've gone off already. As I say, a bit of soap and water. Then we come up to the, the three wood. Now this is an interesting club here for me. I'm a low spinner of the golf ball and uh, the, my three wood is a five wood de-lofted uh, to a sort of a four wood loft. So this is a TSR two wood. Again, tightless, really, really nice, neutral setting. I've got a Matore 8X in this. Again, really quite a heavy club, not for the faint hearted and it was ironic, I, I got myself fitted for these and, and then went out to um, the Dominican Republic on a really an highly anticipated trip. And I was really concerned that I'm gonna go and play my favorite golf course in the world that I hadn't been back to for the best part of 20 odd years. And I'm going there with golf clubs I'd never used before. So it was frightening. Straight out the bat, they were great. Really, really enjoyed them. I think I shot a couple under first first day I was out there with, with the uh, with the irons in the woods, and so I was really pleased with that. Coming on to the driver, TSR two. This is 11 degrees of loft, as you can see on the the top there, 11 degrees. It flights it really nice, really, really nice. Decent launch, decent spin. The efficiency off the face is just crackers. Got a Diamana shaft in it. 70X, uh, T8, TB70X, whatever that means. No clue. <laughs> Swing is my thing, not necessarily equipment. Again, pured. It's a great, great looking head. They really do have such a, a, a very authentic, a very old school look about them. And that's certainly something that, that I lo like um, of everything in life, really. A bit of an old romantic. And then coming on to the flat stick, again, got this fitted here. Check that out on the Precision Golf uh, YouTube channel. And incidentally, I'm going to uh, put up the links for my fitting and or on the irons and the, the putter in the descriptions below. So do check that out after you've watched this. Scotty Cameron, uh, Del Mar, a putter that I was told is not the easiest one to use, but um, I certainly 
enjoy using it and I don't think I've ever putted better since using this. Mike Clark, who does a lot of the putter fittings and a bit of putting instruction here at Precision Golf. I do putting instruction, but you know, Mike uh, specializes in, in just putting. Use the Quintic Bolt Ballwell system, Sand Putt Lab, got Capto as well. And it was, it was really insightful. I was going into the fitting, not putting my best, and I thought I might see some dark numbers uh, on, the, on the system, but actually, there was a lot of goodness in there, which gave me a lot of confidence and now moving forward. So I'm, I trust my stroke way more than I've ever done. And now I'm focusing more on line and reading putts rather than questioning my stroke, which has become a trait of mine. That's the bag. Um, obviously, I've got a few, or oh, got sponsoring Golf Escapes, do all my golf trips, my overseas golf coaching trips. You can find out more about those if you want to get in touch, Stuart cartwright at intelgolfperf.com uh, that's my little logo down the, in the middle there and then precision golf at the top it's a really nice bag um, Stuart bags Joe Stuart bags I believe um, the guy's got that all sign written up for me but that's it hopefully that's been insightful and you've enjoyed that little walk through with my golf bag I won't say that's good coaching that's good golf equipment by Precision Golf. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you as usual on the next one.